delighted to be in Venice again. Um, so, uh, Anna Arabia, as you may have seen yesterday, is a story of a, a group of uh, figures, seven uh, protagonists, in this uh, enclave between uh, Jaffa and uh, Tel Aviv. And they tell us something about humanity, about uh, the way that people can uh, coexist, about uh, maybe a fragile uh, utopia. So since we are in the days and the years of the Middle East projecting images of uh, violence, this is uh, uh, if you can want to say a bomb, but a peaceful bomb against it. It's putting the question to the validity of the, all this uh, hatred, uh, nationalism, religious uh, fanatism, and uh, the film shows the way the people can uh, relate to each other and uh, exist next to each other. So it's also not angelic, because we are all not angelic. We are people with contradictions and fragments of memories. And this is the material of the film. Lei però ha anche incontrato, esiste davvero questa donna eh, ebrea nata a, in un campo di concentramento che poi insomma, ha, ha sposato una well, we were inspired by real figures, but obviously the film that you have seen is a fiction played by great uh, actresses and actors. So it is a fiction, it's not a documentary, but it is based on the, uh, some real stories of a real woman in uh, the north and uh, also about some uh, figures that uh, we met in different documentaries that I've done prior to Anna Arabia. Uh, yes, because the figure of Yuval, she is like us. She comes to this place and she discovered uh, this uh, community. She also discovered this space. This is a space of uh, bricolage. And as you may well know, I was not just an architect, I was uh, formed as an architect, not a filmmaker. And I think today we suffer from over-design in architecture. So the film is also an homage to people who make their own environment by adding uh, a door, by adding a, a figure, by not cutting a tree, even if the tree is situated in a difficult place because they love these objects. And um, if you speak about music, um, you know, the, the, we, we mix two different musicals, musics. One is from Azerbaijan and the other one is from, uh, of course, uh, Gustav Mahler. And uh, of course, Gustav Mahler, as we all know, is a great composer who used, like we do, in a way, like filmmakers or writers, he integrated elements which existed in his environment. So this uh, re-adaptation of uh, the French popular song, Frère de Jacques, but put into a structure, a symphonic uh, structure. And uh, for me, he's one of the composers that I like the most. Um, the whole film is, is a kind of, a, it's a, dealing with the question of rhythm. So music is about rhythm. And if you like, even rhythm is political. Because if we all accept the evening news, which tell us stories about the world in a kind of a speedy Gonzalez speed, and they project superficial images giving us the illusion that we know something about the world, the cinema has to do the other thing. It has to install time, it has to install understanding, 
it has been installed sensitivity contradictions. So we approach understanding. So in a way, this is about music, but also about uh, cinema.